Expectations of what an office should be are changing. Workplaces need to do more than ever before. Real estate's at an interesting point. Global office stock is aging. Buildings are incredibly important to how a business portrays themselves to their employees and to the outside world. From a pretty early age, I realized I was kind of obsessed with transformation. How you can take something that was created for one use and make it something completely brand new, but then still honor the history of what came before. Adaptive reuse is really about taking a building that was created for one use and then changing that use to match the way that we live now. It's better for the environment because we're not tearing down and rebuilding new. Decarbonizing real estate is definitely a big challenge, but it's far from impossible. JLL is a global property consultancy firm, so we have an opportunity to start to move towards reversing climate change. It's about helping our clients see what's possible. Interface is a design-driven company that makes modular floor covering. We're a purpose-driven company, and we're trying to lead industry on climate change. We were looking for a place where we could more actively engage with each other. We wanted to find a building and repurpose it. We weren't going to build new. We felt as if that would send a big message. JLL joined Interface in their base camp project as the sustainability consultant. Our role is really to act as a trusted advisor and help to set the strategy and vision for those sustainability targets. It was very important for both JLL and Interface to set an example for what could be done in Atlanta and really nationally. We wanted the highest LEED certification we could get. Let's focus on carbon and let's focus on water. We have a green roof and we capture really all the water that hits the building, take it downstairs and we put it in a cistern that we, we designed 15,000 gallons, subject it to UV light and filtration, and then we use that water throughout the building. And from a people side, we wanted the well certification. People want to work in spaces that they feel safe, their health and wellness are taken into consideration. I feel really connected to the people that work here. It's the opportunity that you get to see face-to-face -face people across departments that are otherwise an email address to you. It's much more like navigating a home setting or being at a friend's house. And we want to make sure that people are comfortable sharing their thoughts and not feeling like this is a very top-down culture. We have consistently looked at how the building impacts the planet. And then we started looking at the building occupants. But what we're starting to see is that the built environment has far ranging impacts on the communities around the project. SEAM stands for Social Equity Assessment Method. It's a roadmap for clients to equitably develop their projects. One of the most complex issues is the supply chain. SEAM starts to look at mapping the supply chain and then preventing harm as far into the supply chain as we can so that we're not contributing to human rights abuses. Interface is pursuing a SEAM certification on their base camp project and we're guiding them through the process our involvement with SEAM is one of the things that I've been most proud of in my career at Interface. We had a meeting to hear the story of SEAM from Rainy Shane herself, and we were captivated. We immediately knew we needed to be a part of it. Real estate has a powerful opportunity right now. 
addressing that social sustainability along with the environmental impacts is how we really start to use and leverage real estate to make the world a better place.